Hey, it's some old guy coding again. And uh, here we have the 3D printer working on something downstairs. Uh, there'll be a video about that coming up too, I think, if, unless I include it in this one. Um, the webcam has kind of got bumped and is at a odd angle there. I think they call it a Dutch angle <laughs> in, uh, in camera shots. Oh well. Uh, let's see. What today, what today we're going to do is... Um, I was noticing on ESTL cam now they have that automatic function of cutting inside, outside, or both. So I kind of made up this uh, little plaque here that I figure I'd cut. And we'd set this range for inside, this range for outside, and this range for both. So, um, first off we have to make sure that this is turned into curves. So modify text uh, to outlines, that'll do the job. And then I just want to select uh, the components here. There we go. And we'll export that as an SVG. And uh, we'll say all objects, all objects, selected objects, is going to be the same in this case. Save, guide, uh, good enough. Now up here I'll remind you, uh, create objects automatically. Um, <clears throat> they have this carve inside outside, carve inside only, carve outside only. So well, let's start off with an automatic function of carve inside only. And that will take care of the text for us and we can just delete the rest of it. Carve inside only, take that off that. And away we go. There it's doing it for us. All right, so let's zoom in here. We need to do a little work. I'm going to take that guy out. I'm going to do this one on the outside. Like that. So these are going to be outside, so we're going to delete those and delete the inside ones. And there's a double circle down here. I just wanted to see what happened if uh, the shapes overlapped. So, so we're going to carve, zoom in, on the outside, on the outside, oops, yeah, the outside and on the outside. Now these guys are already carved on the inside so we'll just carve them on the outside too. Alright, so those are done. And then I wanted to engrave a um, line here as a frame and we'll take all of those and set the depth to uh, I don't know two let's see how that looks now well, that might be a little deep for those guys let's come back out and make that uh, let's see how that looks okay and then on the outside here, I was going to cut that out, but we'll just do that as a separate job then. Let's get the right tool here. We'll select them all, and we'll say the engraving bit. Ta-da! Give it a second to think. All right. So let's go back in here and make sure that everything looks good on those letters. Yep, they all look good. All right. Now, away we go. All right, so then we're just going to save this one. Oops, let's look at it first. All righty. We'll see what that looks like in the end. 
So let's save this file in this state. Save the project. And then uh, real quickly here before we go downstairs, let's go ahead and make a, uh, oh come on, let's make a path for the outside uh, cut. And that's going to be with the end mill, three millimeter end mill. Click, there we go. And then we're just going to uh, uh, make that a part, just like that. Boom. Uh, the five millimeter thick material. We'll go seven just to make sure it's all the way cut through. And we'll save that out as a CNC program. So, there we have the inside, as one would expect. The outside is just a little bit larger than, than the inside. And here's both, which I wasn't sure what was going to happen. But it does leave just a little bit of a ridge inside there between the two. So it's not much of a ridge. Look in here. It's not much of a ridge. I was expecting it to maybe leave a little bit more of a ridge, but you know, that's something you might be able to exploit in a, in a design or something. So, um, clean this up just a little bit and uh, get her finished up here.